Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Stable. I was in a bit of a mood to do some cleaning today of my home stable so I thought that's what I would do. It's not often that this feeling comes around as you guys will see <laughs> so we might as well take advantage of it. Plus uh, on the internet right now you know the internet follows the northern hemisphere season so it's technically spring cleaning but right now guys i'm really cold here in the southern hemisphere it is autumn or fall <laughs> and uh it's getting pretty cold because it's almost winter so you know spring cleaning or not for me but you know it's fine let's get into it because we've got a lot to do today and although this video probably won't be too long maybe i always say that and it ends up still being like 25 minutes it's gonna take me a few hours to do because you guys today i think i'm gonna i'm gonna tackle I'm gonna tackle the closet. Ooh. All right. So I recently actually changed my home stable to Steve's farm. It's a little bit scary, but um, I don't know. I thought maybe it's time for a change. And I must say, because I have, I actually have had my home stable at Steve's farm before, but it was like before the update, like long, long time ago, absolute years. And uh, I must say, it feels very different to have a home stable at Steve's now. It doesn't feel the same at all. I don't know. So our first thing that we're going to be tackling is untacking my horses. Now, the thing is, like, people are always like, why don't you just untack your horses? And here's the thing. I don't because... I like to save outfits because I think I'm going to wear the outfit again, but then I don't. Also, by the way, some people might be like, oh, your starter horse is tacked up. My starter horse is wearing the starter gear so that I don't lose it, okay? Because <laughs> there's like very rare occasions that I need my starter gear and it's usually when I have my starter horse. So I thought I'd just save like three slots of closet space by keeping it on my horse. Now, I first have to look in the pasture to see if any horses are wearing bridles. Uh, unfortunately, if they do have like a saddle blanket on and they're not wearing a bridle, then I'm just not going to find it because I'm not going through 330 horses. Uh, so we'll eventually find those missing saddle blankets. But yeah, it's actually not looking too bad. We act- wait, what the heck? I thought I had way more horses tacked up, but I really don't. Oh, that's epic. I probably do have like a few little misplaced, um saddle blankets but once again it's just gonna be way way too difficult to kind of go through them all i mean we could try but yeah that's the first thing we're gonna do and then the next thing is basically all in the closet now i recently actually organized quote unquote organized my horse gear and that's when i realized that like okay the saddle blankets are epic but they do kind of like there's not enough space to fit them all, so you can see we've got some green and blues in the pink and purple section. And you can also see here in the western saddles that we've got an overflow of leg wraps and ribbons and saddlebags and also some stray horseshoes. So things are getting a little bit chaotic now here in the horse gear tab as well, even more overflow here. So it's not absolutely ideal, I'll see what I can do with shoving everything in the right place today. But um, let's just say the inventory revamp could literally not come soon enough. Unfortunately, I believe they've had to push it until 2024. So you guys, it's okay. Like I kind of attempted to do the biggest shopping spree ever <laughs> uh, when the new inventory comes out. Because I haven't done a proper shopping spree on this account since 2020. <laughs> That's when all my closet space went. I went kind of crazy in 2020, you guys. But yeah, this is the big schmuzzle here is the closer. I'll tell you guys the game plan. I'm thinking of making it rainbow order so it's at least a little bit easier. You can see it's kind of still in that rainbow order that I had. I organized my closet into rainbow order back in 2020. It was before I kind of became popular. Like, I was starting to get a few views. But, um... Since then, it's got a little bit out of hand, and now it's almost, it's like too full to properly organize. So once again, I'm going to do the best that I can. I've actually found a double up of pairs, these classic winter pants I own two of. So I'm going to sell one pair, which is great for my Yorvik shillings. So I'm going to keep an eye out for any double ups of clothes, but it's going to be pretty difficult to find. I think I probably got a lot of double ups, or at least a lot of the gloves that I have, I can't sell because they're limited time things like that uh yeah i don't know okay let's get into it you guys 
Alright, so I highly recommend that if you guys are sitting here like, I should clean my home stable, that maybe you should jump online, clean your home stable, and maybe watch this video alongside it. I personally find that's the best way of cleaning your stable, but also training. I was actually listening to, okay, I don't fully know how to describe it. It's kind of like d and I think. I'm not sure if they call themselves d and but it's kind of like, look, I really like books and everything. This is going to be a little bit rambly, you guys. I actually asked you guys over on Instagram where the, like just some questions th some things that I should talk about whilst we clean so yeah I also find it so funny that I was like this video is probably gonna accidentally end up being 25 minutes long and it's literally 25 minutes long I mean I haven't finished editing it yet but uh it's currently sitting at 25 minutes long and I was like I was joking but okay anyways I currently okay so I love reading books and everything and I'm actually a little bit of a fantasy lover I'm either like horses realistic or fantasy for some reason I don't know little fun fact about me and my uh, friends in high school actually used to play D&D &D, but I never really got into it I don't know I never really had the time to do it with them and come up with the, uh, my own character I really struggled with that anyways but recently there's actually an Australian artist that I follow called Jazza and I've been following like he's got a role-playing thing called tabletop time and I've been following it for a while but I still never like watch the videos completely you know um i never actually watched the videos i'm pretty sure i just subscribed to the channel <laughs> this is so weird i'm so sorry and we're only six minutes into the video recently though he did a, a video and i actually started watching the role playing series and i actually really like it because it's just it feels like an immersive story and just listening to the characters and like people speaking out it's like a really interactive but not your interactive like audiobook anyway so i've been listening to that and it's actually really good and in a weird way it makes me a little bit inspired to do star stable role plays but let's get into some of the things that you guys said we should talk about over on instagram actually real quick let's talk about the cleaning it honestly only took me it took me less time than I thought. I did end up going through every single one of my horses to make sure they're all intact. And I actually sold all of my starter horseshoes as well because I was like, I don't need these. I do not need 330 horseshoes. So I sold, well, I just deleted them all. And unfortunately, uh, my tack is still a little bit messy, um, just because it's getting a little bit full, but it's not too crazy at the moment that I'm too concerned. I definitely feel like there is still a little bit more cleaning that could be done because at the end of it, uh, you guys will see, although everything is kind of in the color order, it's still a little bit, um... It's a little bit of a hassle, you guys will see at the end what I mean. But it's also not in order of like helmets and everything. I was going to maybe do that at the end, but after all of this, I was like, I was actually ready to train uh, my horses with Georgia, who's actually going to make a fun appearance at the end because I thought I'd show Georgia that I cleaned my stable. Absolutely shock her. But now let's get into the Instagram things. The first one that I saw is why have you been lacking on Swam Survival? Now, I feel so bad about this one. If you guys don't know, I actually stream swim survival over on twitch.tv slash just another pixel i like to keep the purely horsey stuff here on youtube on just another pixel and twitch live streaming is just for the things which might include horses like swim survival has the horses but i also you know want to do minecraft things like go to the nether and things like that and that's not always something that i think that the community here is always interested in if you are then i do have twitch and i do re-upload them i am actually a little bit delayed i've got about like five episodes that I need to upload that I really should do <laughs> but I also post them on YouTube as well just the full live stream so yeah honestly it's just a little bit difficult to stream sometimes um yeah just lacking a little bit of energy just the thought of time zones and everything and as much as I love some survival sometimes it can be difficult to live stream survival Minecraft like sometimes I just feel like being silent I suppose but I'm hoping to get back into it soon but I'm also someone who just overestimates everything that I can do in the world. And right now I'm actually focusing on the Discord server. I have a brand new Discord server. I'm trying to be super duper active. I'm like, I don't know, it's really cool. And if you do have Discord, I would love if you could check it out. The link is in the description. The next thing that you guys asked was, do your family and friends know about your YouTube? My family and friends have known about my YouTube for a long time. Uh, my family, like I never really out right said it but i think you could tell like when i started talking to myself <laughs> in my bedroom that uh i don't know i'd started filming or something and also i've always really loved cameras so yeah like i've had a camera since a very young age and i used to actually film myself playing with like 
dolls in real life I suppose and things like that. I used to film little movies with my cousin. Not anything fun. I never actually edited them or anything and I really wish that I would have known where I put these SD cards because I don't have any of the footage that I filmed when I was you know like seven or something like I was pretty young. So that's a little bit unfortunate because I would love to go back and watch because I used to just film stuff you know it was just fun. So they kind of knew from that and uh my friend in primary school was actually in a lot of my early videos as well so obviously she knew about my youtube and very quickly my friends in high school learned about my youtube because i used to edit uh on my little laptop uh in the early days in grade seven i only had just about 150 or something subscribers it was about like six seven years six years of like two like fluctuating between like 200 subscribers like I just did not pass 200 subscribers but I also wasn't like the quality wasn't that good I could see why I didn't you know get over 200 subscribers looking back at it but yeah so I used to edit videos and stuff they knew that I was a video editor and they were always super supportive so I really thank my friends for that Next up, we have a university ramble. Unfortunately, there's not too much to ramble about. I mean, I do want to get back into training rambles, my training videos where I would just train and talk like a podcast, um, unedited. Something kind of like this, <laughs> I suppose, because I'm being very rambly right now. I do want to get back into that, so maybe I can do a full lowdown on the university thing. But currently, I studied film and TV last year in university and I did decide to take a gap year this year and just focus on learning to live life alone and focus on my YouTube a little bit more because yeah <laughs> okay do you have a set training route for training now if so can you make an updated video about it currently as you guys saw I did change my training route from um or tr change my home stable from Starshine to Steve's farm and that did kind of change it a little bit um my training route basically has been the exact same all of this year that you guys would have seen in my how to train 300 horses at the in January but lately I've actually been training with Georgia and we've kind of been just switching around the races we do so currently honestly i've just kind of been going steve's farm marley's and going up to the manor maybe baroness racetrack kind of things like that i could do an updated one but um yeah it does kind of change right now but I actually have been so good at training if you guys follow me on Instagram. Like, how good am I at training right now? <laughs> Do you ever plan to ride or own a horse at some point in real life? I feel like it's difficult to plan for something like this. Currently, it is, it's in my dream, I suppose. I can't really plan for it right now because I financially cannot do it. I also live in the city and I don't have um, an area uh, to own a horse or even to uh, lease a stable for a horse. And once again, financially just not possible. But it is definitely a dream. I haven't been without horses in my life. I've ridden every couple of years. I used to ride a little bit more when I was younger. I once again want to do a training rambles on like all of my in real life experience with horses. But yeah, so I've done quite a few trail riding. I've like quote unquote spent a day with horses. So we did tacking up, grooming, a little bit of a ride. There was actually a thunderstorm which scared the horses but it was also kind of fun to kind of um see how that does affect the horses and the barn and everything and uh, the most like hands-on experience for a long period of time I guess I had was in high school in grade seven I did miniature horse showing I wasn't very good at it and unfortunately I mean they did continue it but the teacher like went away on holidays and it kind of like we didn't really hear much about it because the school was more focused on the cows on the farm so yeah it was part of my school um I lived kind of in um yeah <laughs> there was space for you know a farm and there was miniature horses and I really do miss that and uh that was like you know I obviously didn't get to ride but at least it was some sort of horsey contact so I do miss that um yeah someone asked like future plans for star stable have a lovely day Cass. don't forget to drink water thank you so much and someone also asked plans for the future so 
yeah, <laughs> very far future plans is I do want to start horse riding, but right now I'm too far away without transportation and without the money to be able to do horse riding. But yeah, so currently I'm focusing on YouTube and things like that. My future plans for Star Stable is I do plan to continue my Back to the Beginning series and weekly updates, and I do want to do more like interactive stuff. I, uh, sorry, more like fun videos like that you've been seeing around my channel recently. But I actually want to do get started back again on my uh let's play nope <laughs> i can't speak sorry you guys role play series i want to return the role to the role play when the new characters are released uh, just because i'm like uh, I just find them so difficult to script and actually get something feasible out of it sometimes you know like how do i make a video about roleplaying in Star Stable because roleplaying in Star Stable is kind of difficult but it's not like the worst I suppose so I I'm trying to do a lot of planning behind the scenes for the roleplay series and I figure that the new characters sound like they're going to be out soon so I might as well wait until then so that's definitely something but I also want to plan to kind of move away from just Star Stable because I've always been someone who's played multiple games so you guys might have noticed recently that I have been making a lot more videos just on horse games in general which thank you guys so much for the support on the horse project video it absolutely like it shocked me I was like oh my gosh I'm so glad that uh, people watched it because they don't you don't often watch uh, the other horsey content which is okay but I'm hoping to kind of make that shift in audience i suppose i'm not sure my last video was a red dead redemption to like the most beautiful custom horses mods for red dead horses which was really fun to film and i definitely want to get into red dead roleplay as well because red dead is beautiful so it's definitely still going to be very horsey scented only horses even a red dead it's only going to be the horses nothing bad or anything like that so yeah those are kind of my plans i suppose and i'm not sure if people you guys will like that but i think it's the way that i need to go because from my personal experience being a youtuber in the star stable community i just feel like i mean it's completely different in 2020 a lot of people were at home obviously a lot of more people were playing star stable watching youtube because they were at home but i just feel like over the past few years people have kind of stopped watching horse uh, star stable videos that aren't about buying horses or the spoilers and i don't want to do spoilers and i don't just want to keep uh, buying horses because i do actually quite enjoy having a wish list i know it sounds weird and um i actually enjoy getting to know my horses so buying one at a time riding on it training it and things like that so um it's also really fun to be able to edit other video games as well and plans for the future i suppose also include like video editing's always been my thing well, after it was cameras and I started YouTube, I realized the fun times of video editing. I really enjoyed it. So I definitely want to get into more like video editing jobs as well. That was a very, I don't know, it was very rambleable, which someone said rambleable. <laughs> Somebody said uh, anything rambleable. And I guess I have managed to do that because I can talk a lot. Hence my training ramble series, which I've only done like three episodes and I've actually filmed a couple more, but unfortunately one got corrupted. The home stable is now relatively clean, so let's go ahead and get George's reaction and the final product. Oh, riding club, epic. I was like, I don't want to scroll through my friends list. No, I'm not, you're at the top of my friends list. Really? What the heck? You're not- Yeah, you're- you're fit. What does that mean? I'm here. Huh. Welcome. I mean, there's not much to see on the horses. I'll probably have to share my screen because you can't actually look in my closet. Oh, that would be- oh my god, but it, oh my god. Okay, well, I can definitely tell usually you have you know tacked up horses here it actually <laughs> honestly it wasn't that bad i only untacked two horses well like watch in five months when you come back and do another cleaning stable and all your horses are tacked up well we don't talk about in five months in five <laughs> months we hope there's a new inventory oh in five months i don't think there will be new characters will be out though yeah that's crazy to think about okay show your screen i want to see your closet i haven't actually looked at this like i just only looked at it when I was organizing stuff. Oh, so dirty ice cream screen. Ooh. Organized color organization? Color. Yeah, it's a little bit like you can see there's some reds and yellows and oranges. Mm -hmm. It's like if I get a new yellow item, I didn't leave any space because I only have this much space at the end. Oh my god, that actually isn't that many. Yeah. No. <laughs> and, yet, and yet you still have like so many more clothes in the game you could buy. Yeah. I you didn't realize how many clothes there were. Yeah, for sure. Cause That's like, crazy. 
honestly, a lot of the stuff I have is actually just limited time stuff. Like, I've got a lot of Christmas stuff. Yeah, from, like, 2015. Yeah. This is cool, though. I think it's, like, a little hectic because I can't be like, okay, I need a red hat and go to red hat section. Actually, the red is the most organized because it was the first one I did. But if I go here and I'm like, I need a brown hat, I have to go through, like, all the Mm -hmm. brown sections to find it. But I think it's easier than being like, well, I don't know where anything is. At least I know the color, I guess. Mm -hmm. Except for this red hat in the green section. (laughs) I like it out by the way. You've been wearing it for, like, a week. I know. Well, this is the outfit I'd usually wear, but well, it's not meant to stop. I like purple. Oh my I, goodness, I just went to the page which has that shirt. I should wear I it. I love this shirt. See, now what do I... What? How do I... <laughs> I didn't think about this, okay? What do I do? Yeah, what do you do? <laughs> what? Change, what? Green? Oh, wait, that means you have to change one in every single page. Yup. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I think you need to sell some things. So you don't need all of the like flower thingos crowned, do you? I feel hurt. Obviously, yes, I do. Okay, you don't need They're green limited mittens. editions. They're limited edition. I can't I just sell every year. Them. No, some of the stuff just won't come back. It's fine. I'll just go through every single item. It's like not too bad. And now we put the pink. Th- See, that's fine. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I did, really. My well, tag like is still it. a mess. Better than mine. Mine's a mess. Absolutely horrendous. But it only goes up to page six. So. Wow. I like the Captain Star stable. I left a little bit of space in the re- in the black section, actually, with a random pair of red boots. We don't talk about it. <laughs> Why wouldn't you just put the red boots with the red? Because I'd already gone through the red, and we've already discussed that when I want to go backwards. Oh my god. It's a little bit... It's a little bit of a struggle, but it's okay. I'll probably sort it out more. I was just... I've, I've been doing this for about two and a half hours, and I was like, you know what? If I feel like it one day, I'll organize things into, like... I don't know. How do you not get stickers style stable? Mm... Also, you told me you trained your birthday horse, and this is up next, so did you lie to me? I You're did. A liar. I, you I grabbed it out. Yeah. I was like, oh, I thought I trained this horse. <laughs> I really want this mane on it. This mane looks so much better than the one I have. What mane do Vamanos. I have on it? Oh, the spiky one! Yeah, I like that one. Okay, Georgia, do you know what time it is? It is training time! Training Tuesday, let's go. Training Tuesday. Training Tuesday. I didn't do any training today. Alright, you guys, I hope you did enjoy it. I know, I feel like the Georgia interlude was a little bit weird at the end like i didn't really plan for it until i realized that georgia and i had a training session planned and i was like hey georgia do you want to like make a cameo in the end of the video but um yeah georgia is my friend (laughs) if you don't know georgia that's uh georgia with a with a (laughs) j-o-r-j-a no no did i spell that right i don't even know let me know whether you guys have clean home stables uh in your home stable because um now i kind of do it's less bad (laughs) Now, earlier I did speak about Red Dead Redemption 2 videos, so I know this isn't in the same genre, but on the screen right now is going to be my most beautiful custom horses video that I made on Red Dead Redemption 2. It has amazing graphics and the horses are really pretty and it actually just makes me even more sad that I can't ride horses in real life, but that's okay. That's on the screen right now if you guys want to watch it. I love you all so much and I'll see you all later. Bye!